Hello everyone, this is Grumpy Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you a real, real simple way to run your combustion engines without having them blow up. You don't even have to give them water. Basically, it's real straightforward. Is you're going to have two sets of engines. Here we have one set on the left and one set on the right, and you just let one set cool off while the other one's running. So this set will be on, then they alternate. This set will come on, and vice versa. It'll just switch back and forth, back and forth. But that way the engines never get hot. They don't even have to have water. Only have water in them. But let me show you how this works. Um, straightforward concept, but you will need to build the circuit to make them switch back and forth. And I have that over here, where I can show you. It uses a timer, a state cell, and a not gate. Now, the timer, the interval, I have it set for eight seconds for demonstration purposes. You can set it for much longer than that if you'd like like it probably is, you can actually set it for as high as 12 minutes at 12 minutes a uh, combustion engine will turn red with no load so when it's not doing any work in other words um, so as long as this timer set for like 10 minutes or less you're okay but anyway the timer um, whatever you set the time to right now it's eight seconds so it means it's going to take this thing eight seconds to to spin around now when it gets to the front here it puts out a pulse puts out a pulse to the front and the two sides. Now the state cell is connected to the side so what happens every eight seconds the state cell gets a pulse. And now the way the state cell works is I got the interval set to four seconds so whenever this thing gets a signal it puts out a pulse here for four seconds. So watch this spin around. Timer switches on, this switches on and for four seconds we get a pulse. And now so here we have eight second interval, here we got four second interval so when it ends up happening is this line I'm pointing at it's on four seconds and off four seconds on four seconds off four seconds so the important thing here is to always set the timer to half or I'm sorry twice of whatever the state cells at the state cells can determine how long a set of engines is on and so um, personally if I was gonna do it I'd probably set the interval here to like 10 minutes and set this one to five minutes and be done with it um, but anyway, we need one more logic gate, and this, this is a not gate right here. And basically, what this does is inverts the signal. And what that's going to do is cause one input to be high while the other one's low, and they'll just sit there and alternate. So watch them; they just alternate. And there we go. Let me set the time today here. Okay. So that's a very basic setup. That's all you need to alternate a set of engines. Have one set on while the other one cools off. Now over here it's a little more complicated. The only reason it's more complicated because I added an on-off switch. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you that. Um, this is slightly more advanced. This is all you need to. Over here is all you need to do to make it work. But if you want on-off switch, this is how you do it. Now right here's the on-off switch. That right there turned the circuit on. So the engines, if you see them over there running, I, fl I flip the switch you see them turn off you gotta look way off in the distance but there they're on there they're off now this did cr require a few extra logic gates it's not as complicated as it looks let me go over it and basically first of all let me explain the timer I'm turning the timer off and on with the switch and the way this works is the timer is off whenever it gets a signal and that's a little that's a little backwards from what I want to do so right now I have the circuit on, timer's running. I achieved that by putting another knock gate right here. So there you go. Circuit's off, timer's off, but it's actually getting a high signal. But anyway, that's only the first step. All that does is turn the timer off and on. Um, what I want to be able to do is turn the engines off and on. Now I do that with AND gates. Let me explain how these work. Um, these AND gates, they have one output and three inputs. The inputs are A. B and C. Now an AND gate puts out a signal if A and B and C are all high. That's why they call it an AND gate. All three inputs have to be high before we get a high on the output. And since we only actually need two inputs, what we do is we put a redstone torch on one of the on one of the inputs. You can see one here and one here and basically all it does is turns it into a two input AND gate. And so, as you can see right here, the, the circuit is not running. So, but one input's always high. So that's why we actually had to add this AND gate, so we just wanted to block that signal. 
So even though this input's high, the output's still low. The reason being is because not all three inputs are high. So let's go ahead and flip this on. And now what that does, it causes input A and C to always be high. And so what that means is input B, the middle input, is actually controlling the AND gate now. And we can see it in operation. High. You can see the signal passing through the AND gates. There you go. So that is a real simple way to uh, turn the engines off and on. You can obviously compact that a little bit. I had it all spread out so it was easier to see on a tutorial. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Leave something on the comments on the video. But as a grumpy gamer, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.